Here we go. Speak on. This is a friend of yours. I've got some information relating to your brother. Come to my ranch and I'll explain. It's in Chiara Robota. Cross the Garber Bridge. Head south. Who the fuck is this? I can't talk right now. Get your ass over here. Mom's always told me not to talk to strangers. And look what happened to the bitch. Now, if you want your brother to go to sleep tonight with his tongue intact, get your ass over here. Goodbye. Anyways, OG coming through, OG coming through. All right, man, let's go ahead and uh, cross the water right quick, man, head into Bone County. All right, man, here we be. Good old Bone County, man. Let's see what's new over here. Got this little monster truck mission right quick, man. Carl, darling, welcome. So fucking welcome, man. What you know about my family? Now first we need to see what you're made of. What it look like I'm made of? Putin? No, anger and hate. And that's what I like about you. Hey, there's a truck in the garage. I say we take it for a spin. Here's the deal. This is all about speed and commitment. You got GPS in the cab. Get to each set of the map coordinates as quick as you can. Make it to all the coordinates, then get the truck back here, lose the truck, and you fail. First, what's the GPS? Second, fail what? And third, who the fuck are you? Sorry. Need to know basis only. Oh, one more thing. This baby's got four-wheel steering instead of a handbrake. Good luck. All right, Carl. Let's see a little of that initiative. What the? You in here, too? Doesn't matter where I am. Just that I've been watching you for a while. You a stalker or some shit? Ooh, when the mood hits me. Now let's just pay <laughs> attention to the job at hand, shall we? Why? Why am I doing this? Because I can help you and your brother. What? Why? How you know about my brother? <laughs> How do you know my brother? You're beginning to sound like a broken record, Carl. Look, I'm gonna leave you in peace to just get the job done the best you can. And if you make the grade, maybe, just maybe, we can help each other. How can I help you? Hello? Hey, asshole. Shit. Why did they take that out of the final game, bruh? Nigga, feels like I'm playing a, 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 an entirely new game this playthrough. There's so much uncut dialogue in this game, yo. What the fuck? I mean, I flipped this bitch. I remember what happened on that damn Lost Angels playthrough. Shit. I got to the very last checkpoint and flipped this bitch. Took a break afterwards and everything. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Yes, sir. It's blinding. Take my sweet ass time with this shit. Tricky. See, this, this little tricky bullshit like that, man. I'm 
Should we risk it? Fuck it. Tell you what though, man, Torino is one of the best written characters in the Grand Theft Auto series, man. I mean, this game had the most complete cast, bro. Like, they did a lot in two years, man. Because remember, this game came out two years after Vice City. N nigga, I don't know how the fuck they did all this in two years. I mean, sure, you know. In terms of graphical terms, it ain't up there with 2023 standards, but man, the amount of content in this game, the amount of content that was that wasn't in the final game, you know what I mean? I mean, just imagine if there wasn't console limitations back then. Just imagine the the shit. I thought I was about to crack, but uh, just imagine the rest of the shit that they could have pulled off, man. Good time. See, this is where it gets tricky. Hopefully, I got a good time. I don't pay attention to what time I gotta be. You know, the thing is, not to flip this bitch over, which I've done a lot. Are you fucking serious, bruh? That little pussy shit almost flipped this damn thing. Pretty good for a ghetto boy. I'll Boss take it. Be in touch. I'll take it. Well, as usual, let's go ahead and save the game. I'll wait for the phone call. Who the fuck is this? Son. Get back to the ranch, and I'll explain everything. And I mean everything. Can't you just tell me now? I guess not. Hey, Carl. Hey, what the fuck, man? Hey, Torino, I, I told you my bad, man. What the hell can I say? I screwed you up. Calm down, kid. Just go ahead and kill me then. Calm down. Man, you ain't number the fucking Yayo dealer anyway, Torino. Shut up and sit down. You think I'm a drug dealer? And you think you're a crusader for good? Do you have any idea what's going on? Any idea whatsoever? Do you? Do you? Nah, I pay as little attention to things as possible. Do not be a fucking smart ass with me. <laughs> I work for a government agency. It is not important which one. I will try not to confuse you. Yes, when we last met, I was involved in battling threats in Latin America by any means necessary. Wow. That does not make me a drug dealer. Now, the money that we raised, the friends that we won over, have helped us immeasurably in our overseas interests. Government agency? Kids like you, you expect heroes. We're fighting a war out there. I'll be a hero and I'll lose. And what do we have? Communism in Ohio. People sharing. Nobody buying stuff. That kind of bullshit. So relax and listen. All right, all right. I'm listening. I know what kind of guy you are. I need a guy like you to do things I can't get caught doing. Like what? I need you to commandeer a truck. A rival agency with a confused social agenda. They got things that we need. 
Now this is a two-man job. You'll need a friend. Use your sister's boyfriend, but don't tell him a thing. Remember, I'll be watching you. Man. I got here as fast as I could, CJ. Yeah, you sure did. How you know I needed help? <laughs> Man, you losing it, Holmes. You phoned me a half hour ago. I did? I mean, oh, yeah, I did. Sorry, man, I got a whole lot on my mind. What, you blind or something? We need to jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. See, my Caesar mod didn't work. Nigga goes crazy during cuts. We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. Oh, no shit. What's the plan? I'm gonna pull alongside and you gonna hop aboard. Oh shit, you didn't mention that on the phone. It'll be a walk in the park. Tell Kendall I love her. I gotta put that damn real traffic fix mod on this build. I forgot all about that shit. There's a rig up ahead. Otherwise, when this stupid motherfucker's gonna switch lanes and knock me off the bike. My boy. Oh shit. Damn. Can't pop a wheelie on that motherfucker. Okay, CJ, let's get this rig back to the garage. Put his turn to tighten. Gotta improvise a little bit to make this shit. Move now. Boy, that skyline looks so goddamn pretty, man. See, this is how games are meant to be played, man. You shouldn't be raging out on every fucking video game you play. Alright, man, on to the next mission. Here. Now. Don't screw around. What an asshole. <laughs> Let's get this over with, shall we? Roger that, big monkey. I got a 13-6 fat vulture. Need to acquire a drowning baby. Over. What? In 15 by the fat moon. Break your heart. Over and out. Carl, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do you a proper injury, man. What you knowing about my brother? <laughs> Relax. He's in prison upstate. D-wing. Cell 13. To the left, I got a child killer who wants to rip his throat out. To the right of him, I got a white supremacist who wants to eat his heart, to be precise. Now, don't worry. Tenpenny and Pulaski are really relatively benign. Unless, of course, you're a family member of Officer Pendleberry, whom they shot when he threatened to expose them. But you do know all about that, right? <laughs> Dang! Hey, man, how you know all this stuff, man? And won't you stop it? You just don't understand, do you, kid? Look, it's all white knights and heroes. We have to make decisions, kid. You know, I try to set bad people on other bad people, and sometimes I let good guys die. He's your brother, but to me, he's just collateral. It's a very delicate decision. Look, over here, you got all the scumbags inside the country, and over here, you got all the scumbags outside the country. And me and my colleagues, we're the fucking pivot. Keep the government in work. Which reminds me, come here, okay? I need you to head over here in the buggy outside. 
Okay? Okay, let off a flare. We got some precious cargo needs collected. Hey, hold up. What about my brother and all that shit you was talking hey, about? Hey, don't worry. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kid have been murdered. Everything's under control. We'll talk later. Now, come on, get out of here. Torino gotta be the most dangerous motherfucker in this game, yo. Like, seriously. The way he hit in plain sight in San Fierro, the pull he has, you know what I'm saying, in this situation here. Not to mention he knows everything going on and calls life. See, GTA 5 just it didn't have this kind of character development, man. Like, a lot of characters in GTA 5 felt rushed. It's like, you know, the only kills at the end of GTA 5 that were truly satisfying is probably, you know, Steve Haynes and Devin West. You know, I don't give a fuck about Chang and, uh, you know, Stretch. You know, he, he felt more like a forced villain, you know what I mean, in my opinion. You know, of course, him and Franklin had a little animosity or whatever. What the fuck? I gotta put that real tactical back in the game. That shit look crazy just now. But, uh,. Yeah, of course, um, you know, Stretch was in with the ballers while he was locked up and stuff like that. But, you know, he didn't have that effect versus, you know, a rider, a big smoke, even though a rider was never really meant to betray us in the original. But, you know, Stretch didn't have that effect, man. In my opinion, he didn't have that effect. It wasn't like no shit where, you know, green, the, the green saber cut scene like oh what the fuck nigga what's stretch doing with the ballers it wasn't it wasn't that kind of deal man it wasn't that kind of party you know what I'm saying it's just like oh stretch is dead fuck it who cares <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's like I don't know what they gonna do with Jason and Lucia you know just just stick to one big bad villain whatever the fuck they gonna do of course you're gonna have multiple villains you got you you, you gonna you're gonna have you know your Vlad, your Mikhail Falstons and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Your Playboy X, you're gonna have that. But just don't just don't make it feel rushed like y'all did in GTA 5. That's all I'm saying here. Jesus, what took you? Torino, where you at? Miles away. No time for niceties, kid. Choose a vehicle, grab the equipment I provided, get to that drop zone, and wait for that package. Alrighty. Let's see this message right quick. All right, good to go. You already know I'm taking a dirt bike. You already know I gotta take the dirt bike, man. I really like how Direct 2.0 looks, man. Like, it's not an overly crazy graphics mod. It's just like, it's like the perfect balance to me, man. I think it's lore friendly as fuck. I like how it makes the game pop, man. It makes the game pop out a lot more, man. Shit, honestly, I should have, uh, I should have ran this mob from the beginning. All right, let's pray for no crashes, any of that shit. That's our cargo arriving now. Jesus, will you stop doing that? I missed that shit. Oh, yeah, I think it's the hold on. So yeah, I think it's that damn 90 vehicle pack mod. I think that's what's causing the issues for real. God damn they flying hella fast. What the fuck is that? I know for a fact that last rocket hit.
Come on, dog. I just watched two rockets go through this bitch. There we go. On the money. Heather looks crazy, but I ain't really tripping off that. Let's go get our cargo, man. What's this, tear gas? Shit. That real traffic mod, that shit's impressive, man. So it puts um it puts traffic on the off-roads too. I just now peeped that. This okay. is what we're doing. Get the package back to Las Brujas. Where are you? You giving me the heebie jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching or listening or both. <laughs> That's clear as day. Let me guess, we gotta learn how to fly after this. That should be fun. But you know I'm not I'm not going straight to the damn uh flight mission afterwards. We're going lost Venturas, Nick. Oh shit. We're going lost Venturas, Nick. Amazing. What's up now, Torino? This history, it's all lies. It says Hitler killed himself, and then we nuked Japan. And people believe this shit. <laughs> Jesus. Well, if it makes them sleep better at night, I guess. Hey, man, what did you want? Is you gonna free my brother? No, not now. And here's a little news flash. I said that to get you to do something for me. Man, you real fucked up. But the shocker is, we are gonna look after him. Because I need him alive as much as you do. Oh, thanks. You know, after what you've done for me, it's like you're a pro now. I got double agents in Panama. I want to put a price on your head. A Russian spy. Little fat Boris-looking guy. He's asking for clearance to interrogate you. Russian style. Calipers on the genitals. Feels good. You'd like it. That ain't nothing cool, man. Just leave me alone. You bad news. Don't worry about it. The Russians got bigger things to worry about than your genitals, believe me. The whole country went to shit. You know, we tried hard to put a lid on it, but that idiot Gorbachev with his little strawberry in his forehead, he gave away the crown jewels. Still, they got their, you know, their boy in the White House. That was nice. So? What you want me to do? Now listen, I need you to buy me some property, okay? Shouldn't cost that much. You offer them a dollar. If they give you a hard time, kill them. I'm gonna need you to start doing some real wet work here for me soon, okay? Enough of this little girl bullshit. Now get out of here. Come on, beat it. <laughs> Mike Torino. All right, man, let's go to the airstrip. over with well Carl so what do you think 
of our new base of operations. It's missing something. Maybe a tennis court and a pool will help motivate me better. Very nice call, very cute. Uh, so listen, now, <clears throat> you're gonna have to learn how to fly. No, I ain't. Yes, actually you are. I set out a series of tests for you. You can access them on that TV. You're gonna have to prove to me that you can fly if you're gonna continue working towards your brother's freedom. Shit, whatever, man. Very nice. Oh, before I even get started, let me save my game in case we have any bullshit crashes again. Let's get this over with, shall we? Propeller looks crazy. That's alright though. You can play this game with a fucking controller, man. I swear to God, like, I remember, y'all saw it for yourself. I tried to do this shit on mouse and keyboard. That shit was no fun at all, man. Rockstar, this is a desert. That damn Blaine County shit, that, that, that fucking great value ass desert, you call it a desert? This is a desert. I, I swear, man, that, that, that Blaine County felt like a little patch of a desert, man. To me, anyway. It was like, boom. You passed through the dry land, now you're in Polito Bay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that map felt hella small compared to this one, man. This ain't even the worst part. The worst part of this when you start doing the uh, barrel rolls and all that shit. And sometimes you'll do it correctly, but the game, it won't track it. You gotta do that shit over and over again. I swear to God, this EMB series mod, this shit looks ten, it, it looks ten times better than the Definitive Edition. I mean, it looks ten times better. I don't care how many mods you put in the Definitive Edition, man. You ain't gonna get the game to look this good. Definitive edition only got mod support like that. It's just the OG trilogy is just ten times better, man. It's much more manageable. You can tell the, the definitive edition they didn't care, man. Just a quick money grab, that's all it was.
done for. Yep, that's done for. One more down. One more down. Kind of tricky. The fuck? You see what I'm talking about, man? Pressed it too early. I don't fucking know. Finally. Wasn't too bad. I know what I'm doing. Colonel A stink mean I get money. I'm sorry, boy. Shit, don't want to disturb the boy. He's sleeping good over there. But anyways, man, that does it for today's video, man. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Matter of fact, let me take this phone call right quick. Hello? Carl, it's Woozy. Hey, Woozy, man. What you been up to? Come along and see for yourself. I got a little business proposition for you. Come over and see the setup, my friend. Okay, for sure. I like that. Like it? You're gonna love it. It's the Four Dragons Casino in Las Venturas. I'll see you soon, yeah? Yeah, okay. Y'all heard it there first, man. Let's go ahead and head over to um Las Venturas, man. I'll, I'll bring it back on the next one. Y'all take it easy, man. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>